Today I'm at the PGA Tour Superstore. We have a ton of putters around this putting green. I'm gonna go over what the difference is between the different style of putters and that you're probably shopping for a putter completely wrong. What's going on guys, it's Michael, your expert caddy and PGA Tour Super Stew reviewer. Welcome back to another video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps me out a lot and you won't miss another video. So today I'm at the PGA Tour Super Stew. We got a ton of these putters around and it's kind of overwhelming, especially if you're shopping for a putter. So I'm gonna go over the different types of putters, blades, mallets, some in the middle and kind of explain to you what the difference is, what might be the best for you and that you might be shopping for a putter all wrong so you can get fitted right and have the right putter on the green to make more putts. So I got three putters here. We have a blade style, just the Scotty Cameron, for example. We have a mallet that you might think is very similar to this tailor-made mallet, but I'm gonna show you that they're actually different. You know, your classic blade style putter, right? But when we balance it on our finger like this, take a look how that kind of sits at that little 45 degree angle, right? This is what you call a 45 degree toe hang putter, right? And this toe hang, we're gonna to refer to back a bunch in this video, and we're kind of gonna base it off of the style of our stroke. I'm gonna show you the pros and cons of kind of different types of toe hang. So when we get into this blade style putter, like I said, 45 degree toe hang, but watch how when I keep this balanced, kind of hit it, my finger at this toe and see how it kind of wobbles like that that's gonna lead to a little more inconsistent putts as you get to, towards the toe of the club. So if we have a ball like this and we're making contact on that toe, see how it kinda flips off like this? That's because not as much weight in the toe to be able to get that through. So when we get into these toe hang putters, it means we have a little more of an arc of a stroke, right? Now let's compare this Scotty Cameron to this Odyssey Fang putter. Now, looking at them, they look completely different, especially over the ball right. But let's check out this balance, right? We have that 45 degree toe hang with the Scotty, but take a look at this Odyssey, right? We still have a little bit of toe hang. That's what we call a 60 degree toe hang putter. You know, as we get into this putter and we do that same test with our finger, get it balanced here, and we hit it with our finger on the toe, there's still a little bit of movement, right? But it's a little more stable, a little more consistent with the off-center strikes. But what this is going to do for us is for someone who has maybe a slight arc like myself, a little 60 degree toe hang putter still allows that toe to come through the ball, but it's not necessarily a straight back, straight through stroke. So now let's move from this fang putter right here to this spider. Now, just kind of looking at them over the top, I mean, very similar build, but let's do that one test we were talking about. So this fang's got that little toe hang, about that 60 degrees, but take a look at this spider putter. Sits perfectly straight and flat. Now the reason for that, it's not because the head's different, it's not because of that, but we're gonna look at the shafts now. I'll get an overhead view of this to make sense, but pretty much this shaft, looking at it from an overhead view, if we look at it, this shaft is gonna continue, and if it kept continuing, it's gonna land in the center of the club. What that's gonna do is gonna give us that toe hang view when we do that test now. Take a look at that. Look at that stability on the toe with that miss hit shots, right? This kind of putter would be great if you have a more straight back, straight through stroke. It's gonna be a little more forgiving especially with the off-center strike. It's gonna give you more power. It's not gonna come up short if you don't hit it in the center of the face. But let's take a look at this white hot, right? This one's actually, if it kept continuing in a straight line, I know there's this called a gooseneck bend. If it kept continuing, it's gonna actually land in front of the putter, not quite in the center, almost. We're gonna look at like pretty much right about there. So I hope that kind of clears up the entire putter debacle, you know, what putter's right for me. First thing you should do when you get up to a putter in a store like this, the PGA Tour Superstore, check that balance, right? I explained to you, more of a toe hang, more of an arc in your stroke, less of a toe hang, more straight back, straight through. You can even go to a straight face balance putter, more forgiveness, more straight back, straight through, right? So if you're new to the channel, still make sure you subscribe for new videos. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like and a comment down below for other videos you wanna see at the PGA Tour Superstore, and I'll see you in the next one.